In our discussion about human development, today we will be discussing about approach to human development. There are different approach to human development. Normally, four ways are identified to identify human development. And these are the income approach, the welfare approach, the minimum needs approach, and also the capabilities approach. If we talk about the income approach, this is in fact the oldest approach to assess human development. In this approach of human development, human development is linked is seen as being linked with income. The basic idea is that the level of income actually reflects the level of freedom that an individual enjoys because his purchasing power is higher or lower depending on the income. According to this approach, higher the income of, of people, higher is the level of human development. So that is one approach to identify human development. Then another is welfare approach. As the term indicates welfare, it is related with the amount of welfare or bringing welfare is attempted by the government for the common people. The expenditure that the government makes on education, on development of health facilities and providing different type of amenities to the common people. These are taken into account to identify the human development. In fact, the, the government is responsible for increasing levels of human development by maximizing expenditure on welfare. And uh, this is the basis for identifying human development in this approach, which we call welfare approach. Another approach that is used is basic needs approach. This was first of all presented by International Labour Organization. The ILO in fact identifies six basic needs like health, education, food, water supply, sanitation and housing. These things, development in these things is identified and that is the basis for identifying the human development. This is what we call basic needs approach because in today's world, having uh, access to health conditions, education, food, having what proper water supply, sanitation and housing are the basic things that is needed for having a proper life. And that's why this approach presented by ILO was given the name of basic needs approach. Another method that is being promoted is capability approach. That is what amount of effort has been made in the development of the skills and abilities of the people in the country, in the nation, in the society. That is taken into account and that is identified as the basis of identifying human development. This is why it is called capability approach. And this method was presented by Professor Amartya Sen of, of our country. According to it, building human capabilities in the areas of health, education and access to resources is the key for increasing human development. So these are the four ways of uh, bringing human development or you can uh, say up, these are the four approach to human development. 
that is normally taken into account for identifying human development.